I grew up in the world of metal and punk, in which I still do love. I do feel the need to finally see what the rest of the world has to offer. My name is Aaron, and I grew up as a metalhead. Well, 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 welcome back, everybody. I hope that you're excited because we are starting a brand new one-week club. We are going on with 17. And as you know, I actually like to make um, the playlists for these to have special names. And 17 was probably one of the most unique ones because I actually had the idea come to my mind before One Week Club even started. So, <laughs> if you're looking for it, the uh, which will all the t all these videos will be going on to, it's going to be called the Shining Crown of Seventeen. Get it? Because carrots. <laughs> anyway, as is customary with the one week club, we always start off with the debut. That is correct. So, I hope that you're all ready. This is one of my favorite things to do. It's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit crazy, but I love to do these one week clubs. So let's let's see how their uh, debut stacks up against the rest, which is some pretty mighty people on there. So let's check it out, shall we? Hey yo, hey yo, yep. Uh huh. You know what? Okay, um, that was a pretty sweet debut. I think, in a lot of senses, this was probably the most different song. Um, the song had multiple faces. There was almost like a three tiers to it, almost, right? So, this is kind of what I'm talking about. 
So we start off with kind of a really, uh, I would say, kind of a pop song, right? It feels a little more poppy than uh, maybe the other parts of the song, which is kind of an interesting way to start. So it starts off with uh, some, you know, kind of good standard pop. Really kind of harping on the uh, idea that uh, when it comes to pop that a lot of it is done through bass and rhythm on the percussions uh, leading the charge and then they carry the melody. So I actually really like that structure first and foremost. Great little run right there by the way. I think this part's kind of interesting because it kind of morphs into using kind of like pop and then transforming it into more of like a hip-hop rap style and uh, kind of gives it a brand new coat of paint which is actually kind of cool I thought. So then it goes back to the pop section right there. You know, now we get to this section here, which kind of throws another coat of paint onto it that has a little bit more of a serious feel to it. The melody itself, a little more aggressive. It kind of brings it out. It um, kind of dampens the softness and brings forth this kind of really, really nice melody that just really sets a new tone. And you can kind of tell, right? Because suddenly, I have yet to learn their names, by the way. I do apologize. <laughs> but now he's wearing, you know, this person who's uh, in the group, <laughs> he's wearing black. Kind of, in a sense, in visual standpoints, this is where you start shifting to the more serious tone. The interesting thing right there is that after we get that serious tone, they introduce the kind of reintroduce the softness of the beginning of the song. And make it a little bit more bouncy. And I think that that's actually really cool. It all comes back around, which I think is actually really cool. Uh, the next thing that I have to say that I really like too is the fact that they kind of decided that they would bring into this um, song start with a, I would say, a '90s inspired hip hop kind of overall feel with the with the bass, the way that that's playing, the kind of uh, the runs that it's doing, the way that it it's structured uh, with the percussion. It kind of feels like a very 90s almost house kind of feel to it so it's a pretty cool like lead-in especially for um you know for someone who debuted really not horribly long ago you know and so i think that it's cool uh as a debut solid debut i think it's a very solid debut <laughs> and of course you know i always have to make the comment they look like babies <laughs> they're young they're young so obviously the next thing I did want to talk about and just kind of point out is just the creativity behind the behind the choreography. I really thought that the choreography might be one of the most unique ones. Uh, for those of you who know or don't know, I generally have considered when it comes to choreography, uh, Astro to be um, one of the best, if not the best. And I think that from the beginning, I think you could say that 17 definitely keeps up with them. And in a lot of ways, it's a little bit trickier because of the fact is that they have 13 members in this group. 
So um, they have to be way, way on point about that. But I thought that there was just a lot of interesting little things that they do for their choreography, right? Like, he's got this whole, like, CPR scene, and then there's actually a part where they will... Yes, the bridge. And they all loop around to get to the person who has the next part. I think that's really cool. A really interesting style of doing choreography. So, yeah. No, this is pretty pretty fun. I think this is a solid debut. Um, yeah. I think that this is a really good way to start. I have a lot of hope and I have a lot of, I think there's a lot of promise here for this uh, one week club. So, uh, yeah, let me know what y'all think about this debut. We'll discuss this down in the comments below. Thank you. <laughs> here we go. Back in it.